Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's ICU, and today, while we are all eagerly awaiting the release of the Checkrain iOS 13 through 13.3 jailbreak utility for up to the iPhone 10 on both Linux and Windows, I'm actually going to show you guys how to use Checkrain to jailbreak without actually owning a Mac using one at either an Apple store or maybe at your school if your lab has Macs, you can utilize any Mac to do this and you don't need system administrative privileges, which is the absolute best part. So you can literally walk up to any Mac that's booted into the OS and you can use this to jailbreak so long as it has an active internet connection to actually download check ring. I just wanna win. You may have noticed if you try to do this yourself and you try to copy Checkrain over to the applications folder, you'll receive this pop-up right here that asks you to basically authenticate using the system administrator's username and password. Guess what? With this method, you don't have to worry about that at all. You don't need to know it, and it only takes a couple of seconds to get up and running. It's seriously so very helpful and convenient if you don't own a Mac and you want a jailbreak. And speaking of very helpful and convenient, so is our sponsor for today's video, Surfshark VPN. In addition to 83% off your first month of Surfshark, you'll get three months entirely for free for a limited time only during their year-end sale. Use the the link below and code ICU at checkout. If you don't know why a VPN is needed, here are just a couple of the endless use cases. VPNs help secure insecure networks. In addition, they help to prevent your ISP or internet service provider from snooping on your personal browsing history. VPNs also let you access content on streaming services like Netflix that are restricted to specific countries. Super cool stuff. And besides all of the cutting edge features of Surfshark, they're our favorite here on the channel because they support a wide array of devices, as many as you have for a single subscription. Sign up now with the link in the description to save 83% and get three extra months entirely for free. All right, so to get started, I'm going to assume that you guys are either A, familiar with the check rain jailbreak process, or B, that you're going to watch that after this video, which will be linked down below in the description, as well as also in your cards. Essentially, what you need to do is just go to any Apple store or any place where there is a Mac that again is booted into the OS that has an active internet connection. Then you just need to launch up Safari and you just need to download Checkrain through the official site, which I will have linked down below in the description. Once you have it downloaded, you just need to mount the disk image by double clicking it. Once mounted, just right click on Checkrain and then go show contents and then create a new folder on the desktop or anywhere else on the system and you don't have to worry about renaming it just yet. Then drag the contents folder from Checkrain that we went to show contents. Drag that folder over into the new one that you created. After you've done that, rename that new folder on the desktop or wherever it is to really anything, but I chose Checkrain and then put dot app at the end. That dot app extension is paramount. Once you've done that, you will be able to actually launch Checkrain and fully go through the jailbreak process. And I'm going to show you guys that right now quickly. Now this iPhone is in fact on iOS 13.3.1 beta. So I'm utilizing the workaround method, which will be detailed in a video that I have linked down below in the description for unsupported firmwares by the Checkrain jailbreak. But really the main reason for this video has already been demonstrated that you can load and actually use Checkrain on a computer that you don't have full access to. Fantastic stuff. So essentially after entering recovery mode, Checkrain does prompt to then enter DFU mode. Once I followed the steps there, it goes through the exploitation process and it actually boots the device tethered. So this can be useful for either your first jailbreak experience or anytime you need to reboot the device tethered all you have to do is just go to an Apple store or to anywhere that has a Mac. This is awesome, guys. I literally cannot believe that we can use this method to jailbreak and to continue to boot tethered. And it's definitely not a permanent solution, but at least you'll be able to jailbreak if you don't own a Mac and you have an Apple store or any Mac nearby. Heck, even Best Buy now 
oftentimes will have Macs booted up and you can use those. So literally guys, anywhere you can find a Mac, you can jailbreak. Don't forget though that you probably should remove all traces of your jailbreak exploits on the Mac simply by unmounting and then subsequently deleting the checkrain.dmg, also deleting the application that you made on your desktop and clearing your internet browsing history. So I really hope this video helped you guys out. I honestly didn't expect that it would take this long to receive a Windows version of Checkrain, and with that in mind, I created this video to help you guys who are still waiting out. And also, speaking of that, if you guys have yet to, be sure to bookmark our Windows status checker page for Checkrain. This red no will change to a green yes as soon as Checkrain is available for Windows. And of course, download links will be there as well. It's basically your one-stop shop to be fully updated the very second the Windows tool is out. So guys, that's it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, this is ACU signing out.